Hey, hope you're having a great day. And we're going to be talking today about one of the, to me, most interesting things in all of the Old Testament, which is the Ark of the Covenant and then moving into the construction of the tabernacle. I love the detail that God gives us in this. Uh, you know, because he's giving Moses instructions. You go back to the first part of this chapter, and we're in chapter 25. You go back to the first part of this chapter, and God tells him, take up this offering. And then he says, you're going to, he talks about what you're going to build this offering. And the first thing that he gets into really, really deep detail with is the ark, the ark of the covenant. And this is in verses 10 and 11. It says, have the people make an ark of acacia wood a sacred chest 45 inches long, 27 inches wide, and 27 inches high. Overlay it inside and outside with pure gold and run a molding of gold all around it. So this is the first thing. And this is the Ark of the Covenant, right? This is, you know, I remember um, uh, as a kid watching Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. You know, I just... I remember watching that movie as a kid, and Indiana Jones, you know, is running around with his whip and his gun and his hat and everything. It's a fantastic movie. Love it still. But, you know, they were chasing this, right, the Ark of the Covenant. So it is made out of this certain wood, acacia wood. It was a box, right? And in, in Hebrew, the word ark means box. We think about Noah's ark, we think of a boat. No, it was Noah basically made a big old rectangle was what he made. And this is a smaller version of that. It's simply a box. So when you break down its dimensions, it was three foot nine inches long, two feet three inches wide, and two feet three inches high. So it's not that big, right? This table that I'm sitting at is 36 inches wide. So the arc was considerably smaller than the width of this table, the width of the ark, and it was the same high. It was a little bit longer than this table is wide by about nine inches, but it wasn't a really large thing, but its importance cannot be understated. It was the key thing placed within the tabernacle and also later in Solomon's temple, it will be the key thing placed within the temple in the back in the Holy of Holies. So it is the example, it is the symbol, it is the place where the presence of God would dwell among the people. And it was holy beyond all other earthly things because of what it symbolized. And this is the beginning of that process. So we'll talk some more about the ark tomorrow and uh, put a little bit more meat on the bones. We'll see you later.